let's talk a little bit about welder settings. Most of the time they say that you should start off with one amp per thousandths of an inch thickness. This 18 gauge material is I think roughly 48 thousandths of an inch thick so you would expect that uh, you'd probably be up around 48 amps. Some of this other metal is 20 gauge. I think it's close to 40 thousandths of an inch thick. So you'd be starting at 40 amps. But my experience has been that when you're doing that, that's a TIG I don't want that one. A lot of times that's not enough amperage and you end up with real high beads but not much penetration. So I did some testing. My welder says it can't work with it, but what I am running is 025 wire. Here's where I'm at. I am cranking the amperage up to 40, no, not 40, 140 amps. And when I do that, I'm getting some fairly flat beads. That one there is particularly flat. And I'm getting penetration, I think. So how do I test for penetration? Well, I grab a big damn chisel and I start seeing if I can tear apart a couple of pieces that I've plug welded together. And this is one of those pieces. And you can see that I've pounded the hell out of that thing. And even though there's no penetration through the back side, that ain't coming apart. I think the best thing to tell you is when they say one amp per thousandths of an inch thickness, uh, yeah, that's fine for a starting point if you are doing certain types of welds, like if you're doing an outside corner, that's probably appropriate. But uh, even butt welds, you can see some of these here were tests on butt welds. And I was uh, using 140 amps on butt welds, which might be a little bit high. But if you're just doing little tacks, bit, 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 uh, you're getting in quick and getting out quick. And one of the things that that does is that reduces the size of the heat affected zone. So, test. I guess that's the lesson for today. Test.